cameraman has spider-man sensors he can hear everything even if you <laughs> even if you fart <laughs> action right yeah Here on the island, the local transport. Um, <laughs> these veggie patties smell amazing. Oh my god, they're so good! Okay, okay. see ya! this recipe there's no rice and there's no legumes even though a lot of veggie patties have that in there and they're good they're really good I mean I make them and they're really good but this one doesn't have any it's so so cool I've got my notes here um, it's just so great and what I love about it it's using super basic vegetables like um, cauliflower and carrot and potato you can swap the potato out actually for sweet potato if you want to, if you don't like um, potato. Why am I doing this with a pan? <laughs> you need a pan, everybody. You need a pan and you need an oven. I've already pre-cooked my potato and my cauliflower and my carrot. And I haven't cooked the crap out of them where they're super, super like um, um, soft. Some more al dente that's what you need to do <laughs> the second thing you need to do is you do need to cook your potato so it is it can fall apart like that when you open it mine's cooled down a bit right but this is still it's still got a little bit of you know al dente is that the word with a vegetable whatever that's what i think it is so the first job is you're going to put these vegetables into here that's the first thing and this is cooked as well and you can see it's kind of like got still still together but um al dente once again so i'm going to put those into here just want to pulse this you don't want this to be smooth okay you want a bit of texture so i'm going to use the pulse button on the food processor just to grab it so it just gives it a little bit of a, a crumb Yeah, that's what we're after. And then grab your ricer, right? These are great. This is the best mashed potato masher on the planet. They're made for making gnocchi. But I love it um, to use for mashed potato. Now, if you have a look down the bottom of my YouTube, you'll see a recipe for mashed potato. I'm using this. So all you do, honestly, is just press. All right. Get all that off. That is how you get really smooth mashed potato with a ricer. And into my sink. Of glory it's a storage center it's great you can't even see the stuff that's in there I love that now the next point of call after you've done that is have a nice hot pan chuck some olive oil in there you're gonna have some onion and some garlic and some beautiful spices coriander smoky paprika and some turmeric and those spices are just delicious and that's what's going to create flavor if you don't have smoky paprika, don't panic. Just use sweet paprika. If you want to add a little bit of chili in there, please add a little bit of chili. Um, I love organic spices. They have so much more substance to them. I love the fact that um, they bring out so much flavor in something so simple like a potato and carrot and, and cauliflower. I think that's really special. Next, we're going to chop this up. Just chop it up finely as possible and about, I don't know, three or four garlic cloves because these are quite small and we want to chop these up finely as well. Just small dice, yeah? Oh, 
Okay, I have the spices. I have some tomato paste. I have the veggies. I have the onion and garlic. I have it all ready. So you want to preheat your oven to around about 180, 170, just depending on how hot your oven is. Um, we're going to saute the onion and garlic, get it lovely and, you know, get the, get the flavors coming out of it naturally. I'm going to use a little bit of, I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil. Nice splash, actually. I like olive oil and I like a lot of it, but you can do what you like. So I've got a good couple of tablespoons there. Onion and garlic straight in. It's going to sizzle a little. It's going to probably make my eyes water. <laughs> it's really going to smoke out the studio, but that's okay. Honestly, I don't know how I didn't have it for a whole couple of years. It really is so pungent and so incredible. It makes my, my mouth water. Going to need a little bit of salt and pepper on here for the building box of flavour. You're not after this to be brown, okay? You're not after this to be caramelized. You're after this to sweat down and all the flavors come through and oh my God, it's delicious. And as soon as that happens, which is like about two or three minutes, I do have it on a high heat. Like I said, no browning, no burning. We don't want that. We just want the natural sugars out of this incredible pungent vegetable to come out. And then we're gonna add in our spices, that mix of turmeric, smoky paprika and ground coriander and some tomato paste. This has been cooking for a couple of minutes. Now you're gonna add in your spices. Oh my God, it smells amazing. You're gonna add in that tomato paste. Just cook that down for like a minute. Now you can add your veggies to this and turn off your heat. Bring it over here. Just get all that yumminess off the pan. All that flavor that's on the pan is going through the potato, yeah? Just squish it in like this. Mixing this continually is very important. I've scooped all the flavor that was on the pan. It's almost like deglazing the pan with the vegetables. And I've continued to mix with my spoon, pushing and the natural starch out of the potato has come out, which has really held this together very well. So I haven't had to add any potato starch or corn flour or arrowroot flour or anything like that because I'm continually doing this for a good two minutes, right? This is when you taste it, okay? Not all vegetables are made equal. So your carrots might be super sweet, mine might not be. So this is when your intuition comes in as a cook. Taste and say to yourself, do I need more pepper and salt? Should I add a little bit of curry powder in? Just to give it a bit of a lift. Yes, put it in. Just put a sprinkle in. Stir again. You know what I mean? Taste again. See where you're at. Transfer it to a bowl because this pan is still hot. And we want it to be cooled down and pliable. It's holding really well. Look at that. It's not falling apart. I want to crumb this with some gluten-free breadcrumbs, which I'm just going to dump here. You can use any breadcrumb you like. We just happen to have gluten-free breadcrumbs in the studio. I'm going to use some sesame seed for some extra flavor. Give this a good mix. I want a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a little bit, not a lot. You want to get, you know, a good half a cup patty. Now, if you feel like that's too big and you want smaller ones, do smaller ones. But notice how I'm flipping it and I'm being very confident with it. It's a good time for you to get your confidence up with things like this. The more I'm playing with this, the more the starch and the potato holds things together. I love that. I love how Mother Nature works. If you feel like that's too big, make mini ones for little dippers. 
put it into there. Give it a good press. And rinse and repeat. A little splash of olive oil on top of the patties would be nice before they go in the oven. I love it when oil gets on my skin. You can use it as moisturizer. All right, show into the oven, 20 minutes, and see how we go. Oh, what a day, my gosh. These veggie patties smell amazing. They've held together beautifully. How I know that, because I've been checking my oven. Um, oh, what else can I say about it? Oh my God, I can't wait. You know what the important thing here is to make sure you rest them, okay? Resting is important, because they just fall apart otherwise. I'm so glad that we didn't have to put these in a frying pan and they went straight into the oven. So rest them and then eat them. <laughs> salad, dip it into tzatziki, a tzatziki sauce. In my first cookbook, Plant-Based Love Stories, I've got a fantastic recipe and that's a plant-based tzatziki. Oh my God, this is perfect for them. Oh, what else can I say about these? Salad, burgers, make them smaller for canapes, make them bigger for a big burger, um, have it with veggies, eat them as they are, which I'm about to do. No, I'm gonna let it rest for a minute. I'm gonna let it rest for five minutes and then I'm gonna come and, and open them up in front of you. So get, let's give it five minutes. Mm. Oh, what a day. All right, let's have a look. Okay, let's get this one. Are you ready? Oh. Mm. Oh, they're good. That's good. Come on, come and try it. <laughs> That's good. That has no legumes, no rice, no... Yum. That's good for kids. Yeah. Lunchbox. Lunchbox. Mm -hmm. Lunch yeah, for lunch bowls yeah. for kids. That's a really great idea. Or in a wrap, a salad wrap. Yep. Mm. Mm. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm taking these into the other area where no one can see me eat them. <laughs> All right. Good job, guys.